Uh, my name is Gerald James. I've uh, been here at Boswell for four years and uh, head coach of the, of the golf team with uh, our assistant coach, Adair. We've both been here for four years now. Okay, and how many years have you been coaching all together? I've been, this is my 30th year, so. Okay, you talk about some of your previous experiences. Well, we, I've been in golf for about 10 years, uh, coaching football and other sports for 25, and then, then the last four just been straight golf. Okay. So served, served as an athletic director for seven years out in West Texas, and so it's been a it's been a good a good time. Mm, so. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Why don't you introduce who you brought with you? Starting on the right over there is Reese Posey. Or y'all's left. <laughs> <laughs> He's a senior. Josh Murray also a senior coming back. Both these two guys were on our state uh, qualifying team last year. Been to regionals. Reese three years. Josh two years. And then this is Emily Moore. She's our senior girl, our only one. And uh, she is the regional qualifier, state qualifier again this year. And she was on the team that went uh, to state last year. So okay. pretty, good, pretty, pretty good group of seniors this year. Okay. Well, ladies first, Emily. Let's talk a little bit about uh, making state your senior year. First of all, congratulations. Thank That's you. an amazing accomplishment, not only your senior year, but your junior year. So let's just talk about some of the work that you had to put into in the season and what you plan to do to prepare for state. Well, my season was pretty good with a couple wins before uh, districts and all mm -hmm. that. And I just kind of went into regionals just like to have fun, not really worry about anything. and. It happened so that I made it to state for the second year as an individual this time. And so for state, I'm just gonna like prepare and take my time and make sure all my shots are well and just go in cool headed and all that. Well, since you were you went to state as a team last year and as an individual this year, what are the differences? Are there any expectations for yourself? Um, well, it's kind of weird, like, being an individual, because I've always had a team, like, after mm -hmm. my round, I'd go to them and be like, hey, how'd you do, and, like, yeah. all this. And so not having that, like, just as more support, it's, it's different. And yeah. I just, another reason to focus on myself, I guess, for yeah. my round and everything. Okay, well, the best of luck to you. Now, when is the state? It uh, is May 15 and 16. And where at? Uh, Wolf Dancer down in Austin. Okay, Wolf Dancer again, and mm -hmm. that's, you played there last year, so at least yeah. you know the course. That's yeah. a I do have to brag on her a little more. She was a district champion for, uh -huh. our, for our district this year, and also she Amazing. won uh, the second place medalist in a playoff against a great vine girl with a birdie on number 10 with everybody watching, so she she stepped up. She handles pressure she well. Handles okay. Pressure. So, <laughs> and she was a, a top 10 last year, our low round at state, and so we're looking for her to do well at state again this year. That's always nice to hear nice things about you from your coach, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so since you're a senior, I assume you have college plans? Mm -hmm. I'll be attending North Texas in the fall and studying interior design. Okay, awesome. Josh, let's go to you. Talk a little bit about your season and the having the opportunity to go to regionals your senior year. Uh, it's kind of an up and down season for me. I had a lot of bad rounds and then some of my best rounds also. So most of my best rounds came on the second day of the tournament. So I guess bouncing back was one of my better things. Um, it's my second year going to regionals. Um, it's a fun tournament. The conditions this year are really hard. Unfortunately, I didn't put my best the first day, but I bounced back good the second day. Yeah, I heard the wind was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's <laughs> Lubbock, right? Yeah, West Texas. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. And then, so you want to talk a little bit about um, the experience that you had uh, as being on the boys' team last year, going to the state tournament? Uh, last year I went as an alternate. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually get to play in the tournament, but being able to be there and like watch all my friends playing was, it kind of like, gave me some like motivation for this year, trying to really make it and mm -hmm. be able to play in it this year. But unfortunately I didn't make it, but being there was really fun, seeing all them play, and being able to play in the, pra in the practice round was fun. Okay, well going to regionals. It was a good experience. Yeah, that's, that's a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I keep throwing sure. your stuff like Josh, no, you're fine. I'm going to tell you too, is Josh, uh, as his junior year, he probably has come the furthest in the shortest amount of time as anybody. His junior year, he had to go make it as a medalist because we had five seniors mm -hmm. in race, actually four seniors in race. So mm -hmm. Josh went, made it on his own to regionals, wow. and shot a good round for us out there. And then, and like everything else, he, he the second day he had to go play really well to get in last year and then and then this year at state he shot 77 the second day had a really good round so wow. he's done a good job at when he had to play well he's played well at, and, and, and earned some things on his own that didn't get to go as a team but got to go as a medalist so okay. proud of how he played when he had to well congratulations on making it to regionals your senior year and i assume also you're going to college 
Yeah, I'm still undecided on what college I'm going to, but... Do you know um, what you want to do? I think I plan on just being a business major. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Reese, your uh -huh. turn. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this season. Um, the season was fun. Uh, I didn't play the best that I probably could have the rest of the season, but I feel like I, uh, I, did, I did pretty well. <clears throat> Going to regionals this year was fun. There's a lot of mm -hmm. good competition. It was a lot of, uh, it felt more like a, uh, like a different tournament this year. Cause How so? Because you know, we went as individuals this year, not as a team, mm -hmm. so it felt more like a, uh, an actual tournament. If that okay, makes sense. okay. So it was like, you're more relying on yourself than you are relying on other people. Sure, sure. All right, well, um, what about, let's talk a little bit about uh, going last year to state. Uh, last year to state was really fun. There was a whole lot of competition there, and that was really fun because it, it challenges you, and mm -hmm. I like to be challenged, so. When you're playing against kids that are shooting 66 and oh wow like that, it really makes you think. Like, yeah, I would see how that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and and you're going to play in college somewhere. You tell us about. That. Um, be going to a women's Baptist college in Arkansas. Okay. Um, they're starting their program this year, so I have a guaranteed spot on the nice. first team there. And, uh, I'll be uh, studying a business business management there. Okay. Now, one thing I like to always ask my senior athletes, how do you guys feel that athletics and the mental aspects, I would say, for golf has prepared you for the next phase in your life? You want to start, Reed? Um, golf kind of like helps me kind of stop and rethink what I'm doing because when you go into a shot, you can't just like go up there and just hit whatever mm -hmm. shot you want because it could lead you to a a bad score on that hole. So you have to stop and rethink what you're doing and in life. You can't just go up and make a decision like right so there. True. You gotta stop and think about it. And that's helped me a lot. So true. Josh, same question. Uh, I think it's helped me like become more responsible and stuff like that. Our coaches hold us accountable for like maintaining our grades and keeping grades good. So mm -hmm. um, and really just being like the best student athlete we can be. So just really being responsible helped me a lot. That's important. Emily. Uh, I think golf and just like any sport in general really helps with your time management and like going into college you'll have so much like time and you need to make sure that you like use that time well and having to balance school and golf it's always made sure that like I have a per like a purpose for each time I do it. And prioritizing your time. Yeah. Absolutely. Good point. Well, coach, athletes, thank you so much for joining me today. Is there anything else you want to add? I'm going to say this. You, you asked about the future of our kids coming. Yes. And all these three seniors, I take the young ones and put them around them because they have great work ethic and they, they're willing to help the young ones learn the fundamentals and work around the course. So we, and like Josh right now is talking to one of our seniors playing in college already, and he may go play golf with him. And oh, so nice. That connection is, is, I think, is what gives us a chance to keep – getting better every year and, and those kids coming around us. Our seniors are team team oriented and they help our young kids and, and they want to be around them. I got a little freshman that is going to be okay and these two guys kind of help him grow up. And the personality you see on them, Reese touched on it. He, uh, he, he, he runs hot, he has, he has a lot of fire in him <laughs> and golf has helped him work through those tough times and just seen him grow and when things aren't going great, work through it and, and how he conducts himself. Uh, Josh has had to battle for everything starting later and just go win spots and do things he has to and and Emily to step up as the only senior and kind of carry us through the year. Those things I think is what I'm most proud of with them, how they help other people come along and so Absolutely. we look forward to that carrying on. Well, it sounds like the underclassmen have very big shoes to fill. <laughs> they do. They sure Did do. you want to mention anything about the vision for we, next we year? We have some, some girls coming that, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, are, are going to have to step up that have a good chance. Uh, Kirsten Webb is really getting a lot better. Um, Savannah Elkins and Taylor Abernathy will be our senior girls next year. Okay. McKenzie uh, uh, McWhorter is a young freshman that played for us in district and, and shot a, a good round. and. So there's some girls coming that I think can step up next year. They'll have to because it's a tough district. It is. And the boys we have, uh, Jackson Trantham is playing with these. Hadn't been playing long, but playing with these guys. He's getting a lot better. That'll be our, our senior. And then we've got uh, Gavin Hogan and James Moore that were part of this team that will be juniors next year. So we got some people who can step up. They just gotta, they're going to have to have the same work ethic these people have. So. Well, best of luck to you next year. Best of luck to you guys in the future. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.